All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome back to the Steve Malzberg Show. Coming up in uh, just a, a little while, we'll be joined by Senator Ron Johnson, Republican from Wisconsin, who uh, wants to, well, he's introducing a bill, the If You Like Your Health Plan, You Can Keep It Act, um, based on, on the uh, many, many, many times Barack Obama promised that uh, no one's going to take your health coverage away. If you like it, you can keep it. Joining us now is uh, cartoonist uh, Ted Rawl. He needs uh, no further introduction. Uh, he is uh, iconic in nature. Just ask him now. Hey, Ted, how are you? Good to talk to you. Likewise, Steve. Been too long. It has been too long, uh, and I thank you for accommodating us. Okay, so uh, you wrote a, a very interesting piece uh, at the Daily Kos uh, about um, about the whole rollout and the uh, the hearings the other day of, of Obamacare and the computer quote unquote glitches. Yes, indeed. And uh, in fact, I wrote a, a three part column for that you can find on my website, rawl.com, about my personal experiences trying to log on to Obamacare. I'm self employed and I need insurance and I'm required to get it uh, under the new law. So I, I have been spending the last three weeks attempting to get uh, the Affordable Care Act coverage through New York State's version of the site and was completely uh, unable to do so. I still am not able to do it. And this is par actually part of a topic that a lot of has been left out of the mainstream media, which is the state sites. Uh, the federal site is, is completely messed up. But for the most part, the state sites are pretty much the same way. And they were designed pretty much uh, in, uh, in concert with the Department of Health and Human Services. They, they were consulted and, uh, and guided all along. So it's not surprising. But it's not just the federal site. It's also a lot of the state sites. I live in New York State. Uh, obviously, it's a very big state. And uh, as far as I can tell, it's not possible to buy a plan on the site. All right. And, 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 you know, even if you were, I don't know what your health insurance is now or if you have any. Do you, do you have any now? I, mine lapsed two months ago. I couldn't afford the previous rate of $610 uh, a month. And uh, before they took down the ability to, to look at the, uh, at, the, at, the, at the actual plan amounts, the cheapest I could find on New York State site was uh, $830 a month. So uh, for for worse coverage. Well, actually. that's what I was going to so, ask you. Okay, how about a deductible? Well, how do your two deductibles compare? Did you get that far into the site? Yeah, I, got, I, I was able to compare everything. And what the, were the deductibles, old and new? My previous deductible was $2,500 a year. This was going to be $3,500 a year. And uh, previously they paid 80%. I paid 20%. This would be me paying 50% and the insurer paying 50%. Wow. So, and, all right. So, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, give me more good news. Yeah. I also can't tell whether my doctor would be uh, included or not in the plan. New York State's website doesn't allow you to check that. All right. So, you know, I, I could skip to the end here, but I just want to, before I get to Sarah Palin and, and something you did, which is kind of, uh, uh, when I saw it, that's, that's what, you know, my eyes opened with it. But so, I mean, you call this in the headline, I don't know if you wrote the headline, um, um, or well, she, you're quoting Sarah Palin kind of, but is this idiotic? I mean, is it worse? The incompetence. Talk about the incompetence as you describe it. Uh, of of this whole thing, not the computers. It's not just the computer. Look at the plan you're offered. You're not going to save money. You're going to spend much more money than you ever thought. I mean, this whole thing is a disaster. Do you agree? I do agree. It's a complete disaster. And I suspect we disagree. We probably agree for different reasons as to why it's a disaster. But what we're looking at is, a, a, a like I wrote in my column this week, a bastard hybrid between private and public sector. And those things rarely work out well. It's better when, you know, for example, I wouldn't want to see the military privatized, although you could argue that it has been to a large extent. But, uh, you know, the military should be a public endeavor. Uh, the, the, and uh, you can see what's gone on here with the health care system. The big problem, you know, there's a lot of problems with the American health care system the way it is now. And one of the big ones is the insurance companies are making excessive profits. They're paying their CEOs too much, and they're passing on the, the costs to, to us, to, uh, to, to the patients. And this problem, the, the Affordable Care Act, actually makes that problem worse because it hands them 40 to 50 million new customers that without any kind of price controls whatsoever, no federal oversight, and, uh, and they're trying to merge this all through this bizarre marketplace that requires people who don't really need insurance, young people in their 20s, 
to voluntarily subsidize or not so voluntarily subsidize uh, those of us who are older and therefore more of an insurance not, risk. Not only does it require, it depends. The success of it, quote unquote, depends on them signing up. And then, you know, as John Boehner said, uh, you know, how can you tax people for, for, refu for not buying a product that you can't buy? And you can't buy Obamacare right now. In most states, it is not possible to buy a plan. So it's, uh, yeah, it's a disaster. And this is Obama's Katrina moment. You know, this is the moment when, as President Bush, um, you know, messed up uh, to the, uh, the, re the reaction to Hurricane Katrina in Louisiana and the Gulf Coast, we're seeing exactly the same thing here. These guys had two and a half years to get ready for this. And apparently, uh, now we're finding out through pieces in the Washington Post and elsewhere that they were only doing end-to-end -end testing the last couple of weeks of September uh, before the October 1st launch. I mean, you know, lots of people knew this was going to be bad, and they were right, and it is bad. Well, Sarah, after all, Kathleen Sebelius, when she was interviewed the other day, said she, she wished, ideally, she wanted five years. Five years! Now, let me, let me we're talking to Ted Rawl, uh, liberal cartoonist, uh, here on the Steve Malzberg Show, and you can read him at uh, Rawl, R-A-L-L, dot com. Um, you, you, your piece is entitled, Via Sarah Palin. How Obamacare's idiotic ACA, Affordable Care Act, might lead to real health care reform. Um, at the end, your last line is, I never thought I'd say this, but from Sarah Palin's lips to God's ears. Tell the folks what it is that you quoted Sarah Palin saying that you agree with. Well, Sarah Palin says that, um, that she views, this, uh, she views the, uh, the botched rollout of the Affordable Care Act as a road to, uh, to, to, national, to socialized medicine, which people like me are very much in favor of. I would love to see socialized medicine. I, I, I want to see- You mean uh, single payer, one, one payer, one, one, one plan. Uh, single payer, I would like to, uh, a British or Canadian style system. I think that doctors and nurses should be federal employees. I think that the profit incentive should be taken out of healthcare entirely. But what, uh, what Governor Palin was arguing was that this was intentional, that um, the, you know, they, didn't make it, they didn't do a good job because they knew it would lead to that. I don't think that's the case. I don't think Obama is, uh, and his team are that smart. I think that they screwed this up. I think they wanted a, a, a semi-market-based plan, and they just didn't know how to pull it off. But the irony is that I think that Governor Palin's prediction may turn out to be right, because uh, she sort of walks us through in her uh, blog post, which is very well written, that uh, it's just sort of the scenario where people are going to be so dissatisfied with this launch that they'll say, you know, to hell with it. Let's just go with full-fledged socialized medicine. And I think that could happen. I don't, I don't think it's a shoe in but it absolutely is a possibility. Well, I, I'm sure that you are, are well aware, or maybe not, of the horror stories out of Great Britain and Canada. Uh, I mean, you know, when it comes to, first of all, uh, anybody who's elderly, but also if you need to see a specialist or get elective surgery and taking the profit motive out of medicine, uh, I don't know who you're going to get to be doctors uh, God help us, but uh, uh, you know you could you could root for what you want. Uh, I just don't understand it at all. We have that Beth or had and, or do the best healthcare system in the world. I don't care what statistics show. Where would you would you? Is there a country that I, I defy anybody who says, "Oh no, our healthcare system sucks," or it's the 98th or 72nd or whatever? What country would you take your kids to to go get treatment? And what country do all the heads of state come to to get treatment for specialized uh, like cancer or heart disease when they're sick? So we have the best healthcare system in the world, uh, and now you want to make it like Canada and Great Britain, which are disasters. Well, I think that the, uh, I think the European models do much better for more people than the American model does. I mean, no doubt, if you have a, an unusual disease, uh, if, you have, if you need a, a transplant, uh, you should come to the United States. But for the vast majority of people who are just breaking legs and, getting, and, getting, and catching the flu, and, uh, and on a day-to-day -day basis, need regular health care. Uh, the, the United States system is really failing them terribly. I mean, I myself am not even poor. I, I would be solidly middle class. And there are many times when I don't go to the doctor because I'm afraid of, of incurring the, the bill. I, well, wait, I wait, wait, wait. You had a policy that paid 80%. It cost you right. six ten a month and you had a $2,500 deductible. So, so how, does that, how does that fail you? Because I'm already paying, I was already paying the six hundred and ten dollars a month, and on top of that, I have to pay the twenty percent out of pocket plus 
the several thousand dollar deductible. Right. I don't really now you're going to have to do worse. Now, now you're going to have to do worse under Obamacare. Right. Well, that's true. I mean, we're taking a terrible system and making it worse under Obamacare. I argued that from the very beginning, by the way. I mean, this is one of those places where uh, the people on the left and the right should be able to disagree to sorry, should be able to agree. This is not a good solution. We were better off before. I think left and right can agree on that. The, the issue, you know, this is a, a bizarre, weird, cobbled together, neither beast nor fowl compromise that doesn't serve any purpose. I would rather have either a fully free market system or a fully socialized system. I don't want some cobbled together uh, monster like the ACA. So, okay, and I, I, I do think that uh, I don't think Obama wanted this to happen. But I do think that uh, the ultimate goal of Obama is certainly for the single payer. I think that's the ultimate goal, goal of all, all the uh, the Democrats, uh, with that, without a doubt. We're talking to Ted Rawl, uh, cartoonist here on the Steve, nationally syndicated cartoonist here on the Steve Malzberg Show. All right. So so w- w- there, where would you like to see this go? Would you like to see this delayed? Would you like to see it implemented and let the chips fall where they may and let's have a, a, an election on it in 2014? I know you probably root for the Democrats, so that might not be good for Democrats retaking the House or even keeping the Senate. So what would you like to see from today on? Uh, Well, I mean, I think, first of all, there's the there's there's we have the we have the Affordable Care Act and it's not going away. So, I mean, I can't imagine any scenario under which the uh, deadlines that are set for December 15th and February 15th are not pushed back. But who's going to push them back? Like King Obama, the way he gave exemptions to businesses and the way he gave exemptions to groups and certain companies, he's going to just decide unilaterally as monarch this will be delayed or does it have to be Congress? I think it's going to be it's going to be Congress and it's going to be an outcry and it's going to be on both sides of the aisle. I mean, there's just too many millions of Americans who've been affected by this. And, you know, what's interesting about this is it's kind of, um, you know, it, it's an interaction it, for many Americans. This is the first real detailed interaction they've had with the federal government or even with state government, aside from things like renewing your driver's right. license. Right. This has become the DMV. Absolutely. Or worse. Yeah. And well, the DMV's gotten better over yeah. the years. Yeah. So I, mean, you could, I, I actually lost my license and got a new one online in two weeks. I was very impressed. But uh, yeah, but this is a um, this is definitely. Um, By the know, way, I found your license. I was going to send it back to you. No I'm kidding, <laughs> kidding. Thanks, Steve. Yeah. Appreciate. It. I was wondering who was racking up those speeches. <laughs> but. Uh, no, so I, I, you know, it's, I, I think that for many people, they're very surprised by this. I think that the the gov- you know, Health and Human Services handled this pretty much the way that they treat the the poor people who are getting food stamps and uh, you know and uh, you know uh, welfare. And it's like, I'm sorry, but you can't really just treat uh, tens of millions of uninsured working class Americans this way. They're not used to it, yeah. and they're going to freak out. Well, they're, they're, they don't like getting the runaround, and it's not fair. And it's not right, and it's and it's so. I think it's they're going to push back the deadline, and what we're going to look at is uh, you know whether what comes next. Now I think I, you know I'm Ted. We're going to have to leave it there because uh, because I'm at, up against a hard break. I thank you, and we'll talk again soon. I promise. Ted Roll, a syndicated uh, cartoonist. Thank you, sir. Thanks, Steve. All right, great. All right, folks. When we come back, as I mentioned, we'll be joined by a uh, uh, Congr- uh, I'm sorry, Senator um, Ron Johnson of Wisconsin, who's proposing the if you like your health plan. You can keep it. Act. Don't go away. You're going to want to hear about this right here on the Steve Malsberg Show, Newsmax TV and Radio.